<clears throat> All right. I guess this is what we've decided we're going to do. We're going to attempt a Zag cast run. So we're going to use an unpowered cast. No boons on it. And try to center our damage around it. We're going to take an aspect of Poseidon, which increases our cast damage by 50% and allows us to dislodge the cast. So we could make use of other boons like exit wounds, namely, this way. In fact, we may really want to do that. We're going to take out Shattered Shackle because that increases our cast damage by 100%. And that's kind of going to be the only way to get around this. So we're probably going to wear that the whole time. But I guess we don't want an attack or a special boon. We're going to have to do things besides just use the cast. Like we can't. I can't just... Uh, Oh no. Uh, uh, one roll. Snowburst! Mm, that's really bad. <laughs> oh, we'll see. I don't know. Hey, we did this before with something. God knows what. The thing is, our special is going to deal a lot more than the cast right now. So I don't know if you can ever... If you're going to use the shackle, I don't know how much you can make this work. You know what I mean? Bonk, bonk. I think we did this with Beowulf before. All right, here we go. Chaos will save us. Guaranteed. Dot com. Dying Lament. Cash dash. We can't take crush shot. All right. Plus cast. Come on. Imagine like a ton of cast with this. Maybe with like Stygian. And if you just get the crazy luck. You know I'm doing it. You know I'm doing it. We need Artemis. Afro Athena combo if you don't have a cast boon. Uh, party shot? Ooh. I don't know. I think so. I think you can, actually. I think you can. Some other things that... Uh, a lot of people have been asking for, like, trap-only runs, but... I don't think that's actually, like, reasonable. Like, can I even kill these things with these traps here? If they, if they go over? I think because they're floating, I think maybe you can't. I can't remember. There's some enemies in Asphodel that floats. The pillars? Well, then you'd have to hit the pillars. Still, right? Ringers. So, yeah. Yeah, we try. We kind of tried to look into it. The trap-only thing. As much as I'd love to make it happen. Doesn't look like it can. I mean, we could, we could just come up with a bunch of arbitrary rules like, well, okay, if, like this room has zero traps in it, by the way. The one we're in right now. It's like, oh, well, then you can kill the enemies. Ah, well, then it loses the luster, you know what I mean? Tough to watch. Oh, it'd be miserable. It'd be horrible. <laughs> that doesn't stop people from wanting to see it. Okay. Exit wounds. Guaranteed. Or at least PP. Something. We can't take off this keepsake, ever. Go! Hey. Look at it go. Look at it go, chat. Plus one cast. One Rizzy. One Rizzy to see if Exit Wounds shows up. Oh, butter. Hmm. Hmm. I can't. Hey, got anything else? No. So punished. Okay, back to PP we go. We gotta take the health here. What can you do? It happens, chat. Do, 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 do. What was on the Nintendo Direct, by the way? I didn't really hear anything that interested me, to be honest. I didn't notice anything.
More Artemis. Okay. We'll try. Mother 3, but only in Japan. I thought they already made Mother 3. Wasn't it like a... Maybe we'll fill a slot here or something. Yeah, I think we just kind of fill a slot. I thought it was like a Game Boy Advance. Oh, or am I thinking of Mother 2? Oh, now I don't know. Now I can't remember. I really liked Earthbound, actually. I didn't play it until I was an adult, but it was good. It was very good. It was very weird. That's kind of what I liked about it. Probably one of the most unique games I've ever played, really. If you liked, uh, if you liked the, the actual gameplay from those, check out Crush the Industry. It's good. Oh, there hasn't been a Mother 3. Wait, really? Oh, Mother 2 is Earthbound? Oh, now I don't know what to think. I guess I spent my last roll. Not what I need right now. Hmm. What am I palming here? PP? Guess so. Challenge run? Zag cast. Zag cast. Zag cast. I'm going to come out and say it. I hope Zagreus is essentially not in Hades too. <laughs> I've had enough Zagreus in my life. I know a lot of people are like, no, he's my baby. He's my baby boy. PP. I've had enough Zag. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I would be totally fine if Zag literally made zero appearance. If they just said, he's on vacation. And like, he just never showed up. I'd be totally fine with that. Okay. Ender Lily sequel. Okay, yeah. I think I'll, I'm probably going to play that one. I like Ender Lilies quite a bit. Zeus. What can Zeus do for us here? All Zeus would probably do is steal the thunder of the run. Zag as a god and offered boons. What? Wait a minute. But wait, I just said I don't want Zag to appear. And now you want to make him a god? <laughs> and so you see him like every run? Ah. I don't feel like pizza for dinner tonight. What about, what about a pepperoni pizza? <laughs> but what about a pepperoni pizza? Ah! That's that's my that's my hot and wild take for y'all, I guess. Because I, no one else would actually say this besides me, probably, I assume. Because to me, seeing seeing Zag more in Hades 2 is kind of like, is, is like kind of equivalent. Like, what if we just use the same soundtrack? You know what I mean? Just like, it's not, it's obviously not bad, but like, I just want different stuff. You know what I mean? I just want different stuff. Hmm. Okay. Hot honey pizza. Yo, I had a hot honey pizza. It was delicious. But then I realized I, it was delicious. I wanted a lot more of it. And I want to order it again. But I realized that they were, they were charging $350 for the hot honey topping. And I was just like, I just can't. My mind can't process that. And so I refused to get it again. Now, hot honey pizza. I don't really know. Get my own bottle. I looked at them at the supermarket. But those were like ten dollars too. Like, I guess honey is like kind of expensive, so I guess it is what it is. God damn, it's so good. It's so good. That was the first time I had it, and I was screaming. Let me tell you. That's some expensive honey. Tell me about it. We have one roll. I guess you just accept Hyper Sprint. You might say, but Dan, you never take quick favor. And I said, you're right. 
And that trend will continue. What's my address? 123realstreet.com In the town of anywhere USA. Ah! I talked about this like uh, earlier in the week a little bit, but sometimes when the wife and I go to our post office to like check the PO box and stuff, it ca uh, like a, about a third of the time, which to me is kind of a lot. Uh, they'll, they'll have the counter closed, right? And there will simply be a sign that says something like window, windows are closed for the remainder of the day because of short staffing. And if you gotta do that, you gotta do that. Like, I get it. And it made me think of like the other signs you see around the internet sometimes where it's just like, they try to say something like, we are closed today because nobody wants to work. It's like, bitch, you know, that just looks bad on you, right? <laughs> Nobody, that just means, it doesn't mean that nobody wants to work. It means nobody wants to work at your shitty establishment. In the name of <laughs> That's all that means. That's all I take it as. In fact, even if you don't say that, if you simply say, we are short staffed today, uh, blah, 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 therefore this or that, I just assume that it's probably not a good place to work. And I think that is reasonable. Hmm. Hmm. Do, 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 do. People send me stuff? Yeah. I probably should be going there like at least once a month. I don't get like thousands of things. As much as I want exit wounds. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well done, chat. I'm proud of you. These are not the gods I'm looking for. Makes any build work? Yeah. I'm, so this means I'm going to call it viable now, right? Do I stream the unboxing? Yeah, I, I, I open them on stream. I don't know. Is this going to be good enough? Are we sure about that? Are we so are we so sure about that? NVM it still sucks. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna fill a slot instead. Artemis, come on, come back. I might never do the cast, but then I can't use the Poseidon sword thing. I mean, if I am buying the dash, we're just gonna die. There's no doubt about that. What? I forget what I did for our dash. I probably used a shield for like that no dash run. I can't remember now though. Or maybe it was Achilles. Not sure. Do 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 do. Hmm. Now the correct sign to put up at your business if you're short staff and there's issues is to pin it on your shitty company. Assuming you work for like a big company, I guess. Right? Guess I skipped this hammer. That that's what you do. You say we are short staff. Please bear with us because this company refuses to pay a livable wage so that we can hire people that want to work here. <laughs> That's what, that's what should be happening. That's what should be happening right now. Uh, someone, so, uh, when I worked in retail, uh, the pharmacist for my store put up something like that at one point in time. I had to tell her, like, we better take that down. It said something like, uh, we are very short staffed this week. If you have any complaints, please call this phone number. And she put down the phone number for our boss. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> you are for fabulous, I have to say. It's like, that's not going to work. 
It was ballsy. It was ballsy, that's for sure. I get it. But I mean, the truth is, it's not like our boss directly got to decide what people got paid. You know what I mean? Spicy? Yeah. Where'd my cast go? Where'd they all go? Oh, two of them were in the Hydra. They somehow wound up over there? Bum, 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 bum. Would have encouraged that. Yeah, she hated our boss. I kind of didn't like our boss either. I've had worse though. I think what I've learned is that. I don't know if there's really a boss like in hindsight that I can look at and be like, they they were a good boss of 100%. At best, I can usually just say like, you know, they we got by. <laughs> so I think I've kind of loosened up where everyone kind of winds up in there. Except for like the, the worst one or two, maybe. You know what I mean? The worst one or two bosses. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, managing people is really hard, right? It's very, very difficult. Hmm. It's not easy being charged, folks. Yeah, so I'm, def I'm definitely sympathetic to it. I'm definitely sympathetic to it. The ones that irked me were more so um, the bosses, you know, that just didn't treat people right. You know what I'm saying? The ones that would call you up and ream you out over simple mistakes. The ones that would call that would text you on a Sunday morning. Right? With a bunch of bullshit. Hmm. There's not much point in the palm. You'd be a great boss. So I probably told a lot of stories that made it sound like I was an okay boss, but I do wonder if you actually talk to people that I was the boss of what they would have to say. Because the truth is, it's it's probably not <laughs> it's probably not that good. Because it's hard it's it, it is hard to like your boss. I think some a lot of the times, especially where if you're if you're not happy with the job, right? It's hard to like your boss. I guess if you already like the job, it's different. It's kind of like, it's hard to like your boss if you're being underpaid. It's hard to like your boss if they're if you're working six days a week. It's hard to like your boss if you're not earning enough time off. It's hard to like your boss if you're not earning health benefits. You know, know what I mean? Because you're just not going to be happy with this job, period. So that's the only reason people would, 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 uh, wouldn't like me as a boss. You know, chat, right? Of course. Right? 100%. Exit wounds! No! Come on. Come on. Come get it. I remember, so I don't know why, but they gave an exit interview for a supervisor that worked for me. They were going to work for, they were, they were hopping to like a mattress company or something to sell mattresses, right? And they gave them in a, they gave them an exit interview and in the exit interview, he basically just like trashed the company, absolutely trashed it. And in a footnote at the end, he said, Dan was okay or something like that. But he just like 
laid it on like this is the worst place to work you do not care about your people all this and that then at the very end dan was okay <laughs> and i was like oh phew. i was like whoo <laughs> appreciate that honestly i mean you don't even you don't gotta pay me compliments as long as like you're not as long as uh i don't know i guess if i found it, it was me you just gotta you gotta take that feedback right chat you gotta take that feedback What's the hardest feedback you ever got? Whether you agreed, disagreed, or whatever. I are, I know exactly what mine is already. And it's mine is that I agree with them, but I refuse. But I guess you could say I, I refuse to adjust for it. Last door. Oh my god. Glassdoor makes every company sound horrible. Well, I guess not every single one, but most of the time, ooh, it's like reading Amazon reviews, but you only read the negatives, kind of. Define feedback. Let's say someone gives you a point of improvement, right? They tell you, you need to do better at this. Hello, Lord Ares. Or this could have been better if XYZ or something like that. Urge to kill, baby. Cast damage. Ow. Ah! Do 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 ding 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 dong dong dong. Come on. Do, 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 do. I can tell you what mine is. And I knew, I know it right away. And, uh, and I, I acknowledge it. That it's at least partially true. Which was basically that. Ooh, chaos. Should be useful. Oh, but there's also Artemis for the exit. I have no rolls. So I remember specifically what happened, which was that my supervisor didn't show up to open the store and we were at a meeting. It was very embarrassing that something like that were to happen, right? And my boss finds out and makes a spectacle out of it a little bit. And he says, he, he just looks at me in a, in a mad slash demeaning tone, right? But, uh, God, I wish I remembered the exact words that he used, but basically... I got I got to be tougher on the people that worked for me. And at first I took that and I I really I really um I took it to heart, to truth be told. And I almost and I practically just tried to change my entire personality around it to some degree or something like that. But I think over time I, I failed, to be honest, because I'm too goofy probably, you know. I failed, to be honest. I'm just not I'm not I'm, I'm just not that. That's not me, I guess. And in hindsight, or what I learned to grasp later on is that you want, a, if your expectation is that I'm going to be tough on people that are making minimum wage or within like a dollar of minimum wage and telling them they need to be performing at a certain level, I think that's just ridiculous. Oh, come on! Where is it? That ain't just, that just isn't gonna work, you know? You want me to call up the super, I mean, I called the supervisor, told him, hey, you gotta get, you gotta go open the store, dude. You know, and I wasn't happy about it. I wasn't necessarily nice about it either. But it was pretty much what I just said. You know what I mean? You were supposed to be there, blah, blah, blah. But there was a reason why all these stores had trouble getting people to work there, but I, I didn't really, I didn't really struggle with that as much. Cause I, cause I, I'm not gonna treat them all like shit cause I know how it goes, baby. Why would you hang on to this darling job that's only paying you like, at the time, like $10 an hour? This time, chat. 
Well, I guess that's all right. I'm only tough with chat. Yeah. They really don't want to give me exit wounds, do they? It, can you not get exit wounds if you don't have a cast wound, maybe? Why would I want to be mean? I certainly don't enjoy being... Like, I, 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 get, I get anxious and zero pleasure out of telling someone, you know, that they're no good at their job or something like that. And maybe that just makes me a bad manager. And it did in some people's eyes, I think. Ah. Go, baby. Whoa. Hmm. My dude. But I, I think it wasn't long after that that I kind of just was... I eventually just came to the conclusion that that's just not my style. You know what I mean? Work hard. Lead by example. Hopefully they'll follow suit. And if that's not going to work, then, you know, there's got to be another course of action. But going up to this poor kid... Most of them are probably between the ages of 16 and 22 and telling them they got to work harder, faster, better, more productive for pennies. You know what I mean? You talk to people in a nice way. You ask them nicely. You treat them like people. You treat them nicely, right? They're going to want to help. They're going to want to do uh, the things that you ask anyway. Until next time, good shade. You don't have to be mean to be an effective boss. That is... So for like the old timers, of course, I'm, I guess I probably count as an old timer nowadays. Anyway, <laughs> right? I think that's, they, they just refuse to look at it that way. You know what I mean? They just, I think they just thought that um, this is how they were treated when they were coming up in the world in the fucking 60s, probably, right? You know, it like cutthroat, like either you do the job to your utmost ability, you work 80 hours a week, blah, 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 or you're out of the business. I think, you know, like that's just, that's just not where the world is anymore and probably never should have been, you know? Doom, doom. You have no good memories of the tough love bullshit? Yeah. Come on, exit wounds. We got it this time. I feel like I had a good scenario to see how Twitch chat would react. Ah! Hmm. A hypothetical, you could say. I do. Okay, I have a hypothetical, but it's probably not the exactly the one that. I, I had thought of earlier. Let's say you run a little store chat. I don't know, little 7-Eleven or something like that, right? You're down You're down to the wire. You're burnt, baby. You're running the store, right? But you still have a couple people that work, but not many. And it's been tough to fill, that, to fill those slots. You know what I mean? Because you can't afford to pay people a lot. So you're just kind of... You're kind of just taking it day by day. You catch. You catch, let's say, Teddy... Your cashier working overnight, you know, the 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. shift or something like that. You catch him stealing a candy bar in the middle of his shift. What do you do? Is he fired? Do you let it go? Do you say anything? Do you say nothing?
Um, if you can't afford to pay a living wage, you shouldn't be in business. Well, I can agree with that. Okay, I'm gonna guess that it's just not possible to get exit wounds without a cast boom. Because there's no way this is real life. Oh, okay, it is true, chat. Write that down. Okay. I didn't realize that exit wounds required a cast boon. Damn. We found something out, of sight. Uh, we found something out, I guess. Hello? Okay. Stealing is a no-go? Oh, yeah, well, stealing is uh, stupid or something. Okay. Let me let me help you out, because because this is probably closer to the thing that kind of happened to me. Um, when a product is damaged, right, in a retail store, you go you you go through some kind of electronic process to say like, hey, this thing's broken, so it's gonna get thrown out. And then you're typically expected to simply throw it out, especially if it's food. You are simply expected to throw it out. Someone got caught. Uh, they were doing this process, and there was a package of food that they processed, and it was legitimately damaged. But after they processed it, they ate some of it before they actually threw the rest out. This is pretty close to what happened. And I'll tell you what I did afterwards. Base. <laughs> now, of course, we can sit here and talk about how wasteful it is that these things throw get thrown out and blah 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 blah. And I, I have, I have no qualms with that. And yes, I do wish there were better ways to handle these situations. But here we are. Let's focus on focus chat. Oh my God, this is bad. And you gotta assume that also they, they know that they broke a rule, of course, too, right? They know that they broke a rule. You would be fine with that. You would say nothing then? Would that mean that? Has more to do with them getting sick. Uh, typically that... they So companies typically forbid an action like this where a product that you would normally get thrown out gets taken or eaten or whatever, consumed in some way by an employee... That is against the rules, typically, because people may abuse the process in order to get free goods, essentially, which definitely happens. Happened a lot, no doubt. So that's why there's usually some kind of policy in place that says you can't say, take a bunch of stuff home that would get thrown in the trash otherwise. Now, would there be an instance where, say, I mean, I was in this position, actually, as a cashier. I was told to bring out a bag full of food that was expired or very recently expired and throw it in the dumpster. And I was like, really? All this? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. And I just kind of put it next to the dumpster. And then after my shift was over, I picked that shit up. I had wheat thins for days, let me tell you. I had wheat thins for days. <laughs> I did it. I did it. You know what I mean? Um, I'll tell you what happened to me. It's not ex it's not an exact scenario, but a guy definitely broke a rule. And if someone higher up had seen this, he probably would have been fired for it. I shall tell you what I did. I spoke to... They were a supervisor even. I spoke to them. And I said, hey, man, I saw they ate some of this stuff after you called it damaged. Now that's against the rules. And luckily, I never actually saw it happen ever after this conversation. And if any of the stuff that gets damaged disappears from the dumpster area, I don't care. But if you get caught on camera, basically if you don't get caught on cameras, uh, what I told them. <laughs> I'll take this one. <laughs> don't do it on camera. You know what I mean? And I and I, I kind of also reinstated that, like, do not, um, don't, da we call it, like, you damage it out, right? Like, you, you damage out, you say that it's damaged so it gets thrown out. Do not damage things out just to take, also. One last bit of business. <laughs> don't get caught, right? You 
Yeah, much. so you might want to give me credit like, wow, base stand, wow, that's so cool. The truth is, if that guy got fired, I I would just be I'd just be done. I'd probably just leave. That's the truth. I'd probably just be like, I can't do this. Like, I can't operate this store. You know what I mean? Don't take it so hard. Of that I am most certain. To the death. <laughs> All right, let's go. Papa. -pa. Enough stories. Do do. I thought this was going to be the ultimate exit wounds build. I was wrong. I don't know if we'll live. Truth be told. Ow. Do 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 do. We do have Meg, thank God. Ugh. No. Demeter's call doesn't get rid of butterflies, huh? No, 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 no. cast run <laughs> you won't believe how bonkers this cast build went honestly if we got exit wounds if, if exit wounds was possible this probably would have been okay at least i mean it's still not worth will i call it viable though i don't know i guess that's another determination ah do i kind of forgot we weren't in phase two yet Ah, shit, that healing's gonna suck, huh? It's gonna be a long fight, chat. If I actually started using the attack, which I don't think I've used even a single time, it would probably pick up the process. Uh-oh. Ow. My puppy. Oh, dude. Oh, come on. No way. Downtown on that. Oh, I should have. You know what? I really should have the DPS meter out for this one. Because I wonder if, like, the dash is dealing more damage than this. <laughs> Ha! 
Oh no. the attack now. Oh! 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 Oh, fuck. Two. Three. Damn it. Two, three. Dude. Not the heels, baby. Come on. Damn, really? Close. What are you doing? What is he? What, when Hades does that, what is he doing? Is he summoning pots? He just like spins his spear. He doesn't do it very often, that's for sure. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck again. Come on. I just wanted to hear this part of the song. That's all it was, baby. Come on. Wow. Wow. That was rough. <laughs> oh, God. That was tough. That was a challenge. And it's hard to make that much better. You really don't. You don't. You, you don't make Beowulf probably would have ma made it better, but I guess with this aspect, like, how do you get better than that? Poseidon, we had pressure points. We had hunter's mark. We had fully loaded. We had hundred percent rush delivery. We even had a level five urge to kill. Holy shit. Whoa, wait, what is that? Master caster. Have I ever seen that title? How do you get that title? Run clear message. Hold on. Let me find. I feel like I've never seen that. Master caster. Use your cast a thousand times. Works for any cast even if you exchange it. Oh. Oh. Wow. Okay. Use your cast a thousand times in one run. Holy shit. That, that might be the hardest one honestly in some ways right that might be the hardest one to get wow <sighs> so i guess i haven't done everything i guess not